Hi guys, LF32 here on the, what were you today, 27th. Um, first of all, thanks to everyone who asked a question on my post I made back on, where are we, uh, about a week ago, was it? Yeah, about a week ago. Um, I, I did a non Transformers QA, how long ago? Ages ago. I think some of us have done a Transformers Q&A, so I thought I'd do mine for my first video of 2015. Um, I've got a few as well, who I asked via private message, so I'll, I'll do them last, but without further ado, on to the questions. Um, question one from John Penfold, you're right mate. What was your first Transformer? Um, the first one I can actually remember, and it was either, let me think, it was either G1 Warpath or it was Sea Spray. One of the, and that's one of the G1 mini bots. It's got much I can't remember. Sadly, I don't know. I, I did have Sea Spray, I've no idea where he's gone to. Um, Warpath, on the other hand, is up there. I'll, I'll get to him in a minute, but. Yeah, the first one I can actually remember, it would have been what well, I got on with pocket money or was a, a, a present for doing well at school, something like that when I was little. So, I, so I'd have to say it's either G1 Sea Spray or G1 Warp Off. Um, I'm going to miss out the next one, two, three questions because they're from Carl Barnett or Barnett. Um, I did say after it's a Transformers Q&A, not a non-Transformers Q&A, so, oh yeah. Uh, question to you, Dave Shotton, you alright mate? Who do you want the next masterpiece to be and why? I'll ask you a question. Um, who do I want to be the next masterpiece? Hmm. I mean, there's quite a few uh, third party uh, different companies have made get a masterpiece scale with um cast of most of them um, I'd have to say here's a masterpiece the next one I'd say I'd probably say Blaster actually I know you and me have talked on Facebook a while ago about different versions of Blaster um, and I've got the reissue of the G1 version and <coughs> another one that um, Dave isn't too keen on the Universe one which is I think a remold and I think oh, I'll just recall a remold of I think it's the Cybertron version of Soundwave and he turns into a basically a stealth uh, F117 stealth fighter and I actually like him, Dave's not too keen which is fair enough but we've got an MP Soundwave, we've had MP Soundwave for a while now I mean, we could, if we if we did an MP blaster, we get that. We then, no doubt, get twin um, twin cast at some point as well. So I'd have to say him because one, it'd be nice to actually have another version of blaster because I like the character. Um, if, so we've got MP sound waves. It's about time we had his opposite number in the Autobot ranks, and I'd imagine Ben. Uh, oh, it's been dark, come on. The um I imagine Ben G thirty four would buy one cause more cassettes we make. Can you imagine the MP sort of steel jaw and ram horn and rewind eject and whatever else he had, so yeah. Uh oh here you go. Carl, you actually answered the Transformers question. What's the most you'll pay for a bot and what's the least? Show them both if possible please. The most I've paid was about 120 and that was for Masterpiece Ultra Magnus and the least I've paid was for the G1 Warpath I got AA 2013 and I paid £2 it should have been £3 but I had I literally had two quid left in my wallet and I went to the place all God boy that place all how much I was free because I was already got two kids. I'll double out dude because that's that Sunday. I was about five ten minutes before I went home. I was then leaving. 
Um, I literally had a couple of quid left this year and I'll pay for a cup of tea, so that's, that's the cheapest I've ever paid for a Transformer. Not counting the stuff I've had off traded or gifted, gifted to me. Uh, Stuart Alive, right mate. Out of all the bots you own, which one has the best colours? Um, which one has the best colours? That's a really good question actually. Uh, I'd have to say, say not being one of the best colours, no. Um, best colours. I'd have to say. Um, Legends, so Legends, um, Cosmos, and, well, Palo, I still call him Blast Master, I've got a Master's one. Aside from the fact, it's a classic G1 colours, sort of the yellow and the green, what I, I like about this, the fact that it's a decent shade of grey with the exhaust ports on his space shuttle, uh, space shuttle mode. UFO mode. Um, the blues on the, well, I suppose the windows on the front there. And in the picture I uploaded a while ago, when he's actually in sort of flying saucer mode, I sort of got a pearl, not a pearlescent, but sort of a, um, for lack of a better term, I've got a pearlescent green on the colours, on the um, alt mode. So I played this one for a while, so. Yeah, I'd have to say Legends Class Cosmos. It's a funny old guy, I do like him. Uh, who else? Ah, Robert Turner. You're right, mate. Question one Who is your favourite G1 Japanese character, e.g., a character from Headmasters, Victory, Master Force, etc.? Um, I still haven't, I don't know, tell I, I haven't actually seen the. Subtitle versions of any of the cartoons. I've got the I don't know what series it is or whatever. I've got the English or badly English dubbed version of one of the cartoons set. I think directly after season four of the American G One. I've got to do that. So I still haven't seen the proper G One the Japanese cartoons, but for what I've seen. What I've seen online, well, I've done a bit of research myself looking at the characters and the designs. I'd have to say. Try that, guys. Um, I'd have to say. I need to look on the TF wiki because I can't remember his actual name. Um, That's the one. Vigi Leo. I do like the page up for victory. I mean I like animal I like tracking with characters with animal alt modes anyway. But I mean look at him, he's a winged line for kind of man, he's got freaking great guns. The only time I've actually seen him was a dub version of Robot Masters. What I found online. I think it might have been TF Cog. Dot net, something like that, and I just like the old mode. So yeah, I'd have to say for that, that question, bit you there, mate. And question two, which Transformers character would you most want an updated toy of? Um, I mean, most of the characters I like have actually already had updated. But I mean, Grimlock, Cosmos, well, um, hmm. Hmm, 
is in Las Vegas as well. Try this one again, what a thing. I can actually say Hot Rod or Rodimus. No, well, I say Rodimus. But. Either his original G1 alt mode, or uh, updated version of G1 alt mode, or the alt mode he has, or did have, I don't really need to come up for a while, in more than meets the eye of his sort of four or six wheeled futuristic car. If he had the IDW version, robot mode and the car mode, I didn't, I weren't too keen on his earth mode in that series, and when he showed up in Escalation, I weren't too keen on that car mode, so I'd have to say Hot Rod. Uh, do you want Hot Rod, mate? Uh, da -da. <laughs> John Hughes, you know, mate. If you were Springer, would you have banged RC after the G1 movie? Only if you hadn't been with Hot Rod first. Well, let's leave it at that. Stuart Blythe again. What is your grail? Ah, I think this is an easy one to answer. A complete. G1, Countdown, and Rocket Base. I had that toy, what year was it released? 89, 90? Absolutely loved it. I mean, I thought we had a, a Mocha Master transformed into a Lunar Rover type space buggy thing. His own rocket ship, which can transform into a base. And it had a little sort of mobile um, sort of like control centre thing to sit in. Radar dish, loads of guns. Oh, I loved. I absolutely loved that toy. I've, God knows what happened. I probably, hopefully, I hope it's down in the loft. I've got bits of it. I've got some of the radar dish and some of the guns. But yeah, one of these days, either AA or even on eBay or something, I want to get. Even if I just get the base, the rocket, and Monica Mars, and then I'll get the accessories later. I'll get the main thing. That's my grandma. I absolutely loved that toy. Um, uh, Gerard, you're right, mate. What figure have you anticipated only finally only to finally get into your hand and think bugger? Um That's enough, that's a good question that. Um Let's see. Uh, I can answer that oh, I thought I could answer that quite easily. Which one do I have? What was that? Now. Well, I'll tell you what it was. Um, IA twenty thirteen, my first IA was. I so I really got blaster a G one reusable really blaster. Came with steel drop. I'll get myself rewind or eject. I want one of one of those versions of the mold. Couldn't see, but I went to. I think the space bridge, and I picked up. Where did I bring you? The blue one, that I won't cause any arguments in. And he didn't seem too bad, I thought we his second hands, or maybe in third hand. Fairly decent condition. I paid three or four quid, maybe a bit more. At the time, because he was in cassette mode, he looked great. All the weapons and stuff, yep, no problem, come with a case. But after I got him, I'd been sort of having a plan with him. And he looked, he's actually in worse condition than what I thought. Looked. The arms were quite loose. And it, Legs, I thought, oh. but you know, what the buyers will get you get it. You think it was really cool, you got it, you're happy, and then a few minutes later, you get anything. Oh, mm, shit, sure, I didn't that now. So, yeah, I'd have to say my re my well, first my uh, Rumble Frenzy, whatever, the blue one. So, yeah, uh, let's see who's next. Da, 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 da. Oh, John, who's again, mate? If you had to choose between Direct and Transformers 5. And as on the toys, which would you choose and why? Um, good question. I'd have to say direct. I've got no idea how to direct, but then I have no idea how to design toys. So, yeah. I'd say direct them because A, we'd hopefully then have something that wasn't turned into a major explosion fest with random looking bots who just appear on screen out of nowhere. I haven't seen, I still haven't seen Transformers 4. Um, I actually read another, I saw an article, I haven't actually read a chance to read properly yet. But, um, Peter Cullum, he's sort of, 
I don't think I've one of the Transformers news pages, which we got to share on the Facebook, and he said he's hoping that when they get around to filming Transformers Five, it will hopefully go back to its original roots of the, the cartoons. I mean, obviously we still have explosions, we still have characters dying, damaged, or what have you. But it would be more like the Transformers ninety percent of us knew when we were younger, and guess what I'd want. Even if it classes a reboot or what I don't know, but I'd I'd have it so that has a decent storyline. Um, I still have humans in it, but maybe set the first film, or first half or three quarters of the film on Cybertron again. Getting that or in the film land on Earth like they did in the G One cartoon. So yeah, I'd have to say director mate. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, Sean. How horrible is Universe Blaster? He's not as horrible as you make out. I like him. I might be a bit biased because I like Blaster and I like Jets, but it's not as bad as you make out. So, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that soon. Uh, da -da -da -da. Harry S. Elginon Dudley. No, I can't ask. That's a non-TF question. Go away. Uh, yeah. Bill Ledson. Were you disappointed after watching all the G1 episodes and realising like the smokescreen tracks, Omega Supreme, Power Glide, Ramjet, Frost and Company disappeared in season two? There was no backstory or two-part special displaying why it had not been in season one or why it appeared now. I was a little, but I think when I first time I watched it, I didn't care. All of a sudden, there's new characters here, and I mean, oh, we're gonna get new toys or re um, remolds and recolors of the toys. Looking at it now. Mm, a little bit, but that's what fan comics are. I mean, it's a page on Demon I, I go to fairly often, which um, maybe people like John Paul, I don't know John JP, I know Chris Carter's done some storylines for it called Transformers Muse uh, Mosaics, Mosaics, and I'm not sure this is still recording actually. Yeah, it's one minutes left. Um, called Transformers Mosaics, and it's basically stories about the different characters not of some of those beast wars and you know, movie stuff mostly g1 and it shows stuff like that i mean somebody said before doing the g1 cartoon no g1 movie sorry why were the special teams not at Autobot city helping defend it when devastate was blowing up the kingdom come and it shows dr superion i think defense son baby Com computron no, it's not new. Sorry, defensive and superior on taking on the other special teams. So, so that sounds like that happened. I, I don't mind. I don't mind so much because at least we've still got an idea what might have happened, why they all of a sudden disappeared. So, uh, b -b 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 Bill Lesnar again. Since Hasbro have reapplied for the Mask and Visionaries license for this year, what are your expectations for these brands? If they're going the route they have been with Transformers, especially with the new Combiner War stuff, I'd have to say hopeful. I mean, I, I did watch Visionaries, but I was more of a mask fan. I mean, if they're using the same sort of toy design and teams and technology and resources that have been for Transformers recently for the anniversary, I'd have to say pretty good. I mean, I haven't got any more. I've got a few mask figures around here somewhere but I haven't got any other vehicles so I did have Thunderhawk was it? The Matt Tracker's car so I'd have to say hopeful mate hopefully we get some new toys a new cartoon too so uh, Bill Lesson again who's your favourite mod in a TFYTC you can only choose one um that one haha <laughs> John Hughes if in the next movie, Optimus isn't in it. On the scale of one to infinity, how rate, how outraged do you think they will be? Um, to infinity and beyond, because I think he's the biggest Optimus Prime fan I know. He, he loves him more than I do. Like, well, well, I think a few, but he's got millions. So, uh, Brad Rose, you know, mate. What would be, what would be easier to paddle through? Armada hot shots or any dark hot shots? Um. Probably Energon Hot Shot because he had smoother, more slim lined old mode. Uh, da -da -da. Tony Frost of Autobot or Decepticon? Oh, come on, mate, you know by now. Autobot. Oh, 
Come on, dude. That's the only faction t-shirt I've got. Well, I've got two of them even. Decepticon. Or we'll keep going up further. Maximal, so, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. No chance to start a question. Start no, a question. G1? Yep. Even though I like Beast Wars a little bit more because I was old enough to. Uh, what's the word? Appreciate it more because I was a bit older. So Beast Wars is my G1, but I do love G1. Uh, Monarch Black and Bay movies, yeah or no? First one, yay. Second one, third one I've watched once, and I haven't seen Transformers, so I might get it on DVD when it's like 5 quid or 3 or 4 quid, I'm not going to, no. And two more questions to go from Paige, ah, oh, right, one from Mr. Ben Saunders, G84. If there's one TF toy, you could go back and have someone redesign it, which one would it be? Mr. Oh, good luck on the time. Oh, eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. Um, one toy you could go back and have some redesign. Which would it be? Hmm. I'd have to say G1 landmine, or any of the pretenders for that matter. This one, it's not so bad. The Ultimo. Well, it's not super, that's okay. But either him or Pretender Grimlock. Because I was watching Tony's video. I don't know, he did his uh, review of. I think did he was a review or did he get from. No, it's his shitbot video. I mean, it's a good concept. I mean, you can say the Pretender show looks brilliant because it looks like a, a knight or a sort of strong warrior. But. Tie itself as crap, so yeah, I'd have to say pretend the Grimlock's in a robot mode. And one more, where are we? Get rid of one. Ah, oh, there we go. And for my big brother Phil, what's your opinion on the plastic quality you like on Transformers? The Combiner Wars has seen an improvement in my eyes. Would you like this? Would you link this to the switch to production in Vietnam? I'd imagine it would be, mate, because. Uh, yeah, because considering, I think what's it, how many years now toys have been made in China? That's, I don't know how long they've actually switched, how long the production's been switched to Vietnam, but it's been for, what, the last year or two, maybe longer? I'd definitely say yes, because if this is how, turn this off now, um, if that's, how the quality is going to keep going, definitely, that's, that's, not, that's not a bad thing, we're getting a lot better, the toys are a lot better quality, they're going to last, long, last longer, we're going, be, we're going to be able to play with them for longer, so, that's not bad in my eyes. So, that's all the questions for now, thanks to everyone who's asked a question, apart from the non transformers ones, I'll, I might do another non tier q and at some point, and I'll try and save the questions. Um, Big shout out to Tony Soundwave SG1 for the opening and in, uh, opening and outro music. Thanks for that, mate. I'll, uh, I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, watching. And there should be another video for me, hopefully, in the next few days. So, catch you later, guys.